how to make a digital vision board that actually works. I'm basically just gonna be talking a little bit about my philosophy behind vision boards, and I'm also gonna show you how to make one. I make vision boards in all of my monthly plan with me videos, so you can also find plenty more videos where I make vision boards all over my YouTube channel. So there's a lot of people who say, you know, when you make a vision board, it gets into your subconscious and it makes your goals a reality. And I don't really know about any of that. There's really no way for me to know if that's true. I can only speak for myself and what I personally experience. I will say, I make my vision boards every month for fun. That's just more of a fun thing for me to do on YouTube with everybody and it's a way for us to all get a little motivated, make a cute vision board, it's not that serious. But my yearly vision board and some of my other vision boards are quite serious, I'm just kidding. They're not that serious, but my other vision boards that I make, I do them with intention in mind of, of creating a visual identity for my goals and the lifestyle and the feeling that I wanna get. Um, in my day-to-day -day life. One of the ways that I personally use my vision boards is I look at them in the morning when I'm drinking my coffee. I look at this vision board that I've curated and it reminds me of the feeling that I wanna have throughout my day. It reminds me what I'm working towards and it gives me this visual representation of what my goals are. And I'm a very visual person and I feel like a lot of us now, especially with social media and all of the content and videos and everything that's out, I feel like a lot of us are visual people and becoming more and more visual people. Uh, to me, this vision board, it's like a picture version of me writing down my goals. How I pick each of the pictures is that I look for things that give me a feeling of excitement or comfort or fulfillment. Like for example, if I find a picture of a tree outside, that tells me on my vision board, it is a reminder to go outside. Get outside to breathe the fresh air, to get off my phone. There's a picture that I have on one of my vision boards of a girl who has a face mask on with sunglasses. And to me, that, that tells me a very specific thing. It is this type of energy of someone who takes care of themselves through health and wellness, but also doesn't take themselves too seriously and is able to be goofy and has fun while doing these disciplined things. I see that visual representation of like this stunning picture from Pinterest. And it just reminds me of what I'm trying to create, what I'm trying to do, and what I am working towards. Because I think a lot of times we have a lot of these things that we want to work towards in our head. We're like, oh, I want to get outside more. I want to drink more water. I want to work out. I want to you know, work on my business. And then the day rolls around and we might be tired that day. Whatever it may be, we tend to, I know I tend to fall off sometimes and I tend to kind of talk myself out of the goals that I've set. And I'm like, ah, I don't really need to work out. Okay, like not today, I'll do it tomorrow and things like that. But having the vision board there that I look at in the morning, it does remind me, looking at the picture gives me the feeling of like, oh, working out feels good. And this picture to me represents that consistent workout feeling. And I kind of remind myself of why I'm doing these things in the first place. And I think anything that you can do to maybe give yourself a little bit of motivation or inspiration is, is a good thing to do. And pulling all of these different pictures from Pinterest can remind you to romanticize these things and to romanticize the workout, romanticize cooking, working at a coffee shop on your business, whatever it is. I've seen like some common discourse on social media about the romantic, the romantic, 
All right, let's see if I can say this word. <laughs> the romantic is the romanticization, the romanticization. <laughs> People often hate on mostly like young women doing this like romanticizing thing. If you have to romanticize cooking or the workout, like what does that mean? It's like it's just a way to appreciate the moment more. Romanticizing reading is just setting up a nice reading nook for yourself with a cup of tea. Like it's very just, it's just reminding yourself to do those little things that you can do to just boost your mood and just make the most out of that little moment and to remind you to just cherish those simple moments, which I feel like is a lot of what's on my vision boards is these beautiful Pinterest pictures that maybe I'm not going to exactly replicate, but that remind me to just take the extra time to make the tea, take the extra time to go outside for a walk. And I know sometimes looking through Pinterest can be a little bit discouraging because everything on Pinterest is so beautiful and perfect, but I think as long as you go into it with the mindset of, I'm going on Pinterest, to be inspired. I'm not here to compare my life, my house, my style or anything to anybody else. I'm just going on here to get inspired, to find some pictures that inspire me to do more of the things that I wanna do. I think as long as you go in with that positive mindset, um, it's a good, valuable thing. Of course, you can go into it with a bad mindset and it can, you can, compare yourself to other people, but don't compare yourself to other people on Pinterest. I post on Pinterest, I post all these aesthetic pictures on Pinterest that I purposely will make super pretty and perfect just for Pinterest, but I can tell you for a fact, my life doesn't look like a Pinterest board every day. So don't compare yourself to anybody online, don't compare yourself to Pinterest. It's all staged, it's all, <laughs> it's all perfect on purpose, okay? So really don't, compare yourself and really don't go down that rabbit hole and just go into it with a positive mindset that you want to get inspired so that you can better yourself and your life and you can get inspired to do more of the things that you want to do and over time I think it makes a positive impact on your life and it's a fun way to get inspired and you can get creative with it and it's just a good time so all right all right, making a digital vision board is very easy. Like I said at the beginning, I also have these in all of my monthly plan with me videos. So if you want more vision board content, you should definitely go check those out. But I love having mine digital because it syncs to my phone and all of my devices. So I just have it on me. I can quickly go look at my vision board if I'm having coffee somewhere or if I just wanna look at it. So basically what I do is I just go through Pinterest and I go through the process, like I was saying, of finding pictures that really resonate with me and that create a feeling of excitement and that just draw to me and my own personal goals. To download a Pinterest photo, all you have to do is go to the three dots at the top right hand corner of the image and then hit download and it will just download right to your device. And once you have a bunch of different images, then you can open up Canva. I like to use just a regular legal page size, but you can use any size. It doesn't really matter. Just pick any size you like. I just use the regular paper size and you just start adding them to your board and arranging them in a way that you feel like looks nice and aesthetically pleasing to your eye. And once you have that, all you have to do is export it. I like to export mine as a PNG and upload it to my planner in GoodNotes. So that way I have it anytime I'm going to plan my day or my month, I can quickly reference my vision board and just remind myself what I'm working towards, what's the feeling that I wanna have, and it's great. And that's really as simple as it is. It's very easy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, definitely leave them below. But until the next video, have a amazing week and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.